Over the last 10 years, there have been plenty of people who have had a bad influence on kids, some a little more extreme than others, but most of the time, the kids just grow out of it and realize what they were influenced to do was the equivalent of eating dog shit. Now though, in this current year, kids are being caught showing who or what they were influenced by for all of us to see. Yesterday, or whenever his stream was, Sneeko was approached by some of his fans, and when I tell you, I did not think it was this bad. You cannot distinguish his fans from Mr. Beast fans until they start talking. What did you take? Fuck the woman, fuck the woman! What? <laughs> no, no, no. There's no way he got happy after saying that. He even put up his hand like Sneeko was gonna dap him up after it. He thought he said the most wild shit jumping up and down like Sneeko agreed to touch him. Calm down, kid. These are the same idiots who would kill their best friend if a girl said only one of them could see their boobs. No, no, wait, wait, wait. We love women. We love women. We love women. We love women. But not, not like transgenders. Yes, sir. We love everybody. No, no. All gay yeah, people. Fuck gay. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, merch, preach. So not only does this show kids whose parents are gonna hear about this after it's been reposted by everyone, but it also shows how much of a bitch Sneeko is. He caused this even saying, What have I done? But all he can do is laugh it off like he's surprised. How can someone be that popular and not realize who their audience is and then be shocked when those same people come up to them and say all the stuff you told them to believe in? But now it's, oh no, we love women. You already fried their brains, you fucking asshole. You can't snap them back into it like that. That's not how it works. And speaking of how it works, someone should tell this kid's barber how a fucking hair trimmer works. He either said he wanted to look like a gay Oliver Tree or this is what the default Sneeko skin looks like. Like just look at how Sneeko reacts after hearing what they said. He's in shock but also disbelief that the kids who watch him actually listen to what he says. This is the face of someone who always had that thought in the back of their mind that there are kids like this out there but he never thought he would meet them. And now he's acting like he's not the one who told him all of this. This is a rare sighting though because usually he's in his house or a place where kids aren't just going to be walking around or be able to come up to him like that. And he's more recognizable now, even more so after hanging out with Aiden Ross. I am praying that more interactions like this happen because these guys just say shit without even thinking about who's hearing it. They think people like Keemstar and all these other social media news accounts are the ones paying attention to what they're saying so it can get reposted, not realizing that tens of thousands of actual kids who aren't gonna cherry pick your words are feeding off every single word you say. And of course it was some kids from Florida who would say that. I bet all of them say the N word just because they're friends with Cleveland Brown Jr. over here. I also like how instead of cheese or like just saying nothing before the picture, this kid goes, What'd you take? 100% this is what this kid has as his wallpaper for his phone. Him and his friends argue about who and which Tate brother they're dressing up for as for Halloween. These are the kind of kids that call something they don't like gay, but refuse to hang out with women. It's funny seeing his real time reaction though, because I feel like this is a video Sneeko would react to. Like if he wasn't in the video and for some reason the camera guy was asking them about Sneeko and they said all of this, he would have probably praised them for what they said. And because he didn't do anything, or you know what, I didn't see the rest of the clip, he could have converted them all to Islam for all I know. But since he did little to nothing to change their mind, and I mean, what could he do? He's at a baseball game, he's not gonna have a fireside chat with these kids. But other kids are going to see this and be like, I wanna make Sneeko laugh, because they don't realize it was uncomfortable laughter. They're all just going to want to do the same thing, and I mean, he took a picture with all of them afterwards. I would've been like, fuck you, you little pieces of shit. Where are your parents so I can go tell them exactly what you just told me? And then they're gonna be like, oh, well, we're gonna tell them we got it from you. And what? Your parents aren't my parents. I'll kick your mom right in the pussy if she tries to talk back to me. Hey guys, don't be like Sneeko and get caught with your metaphorical pants down in front of your true fans. These are peak Sneeko watchers. 95% of the people who are in Sneeko's chat agreeing with him, gassing him up, literally giving him money are kids like this who use their parents' money. And just to be clear, I don't care if you're a kid and are a fan of his, but if you take only the negative things he says and make it your whole personality, I'll roundhouse kick you in the fucking face. And hey, apparently calling things gay is not the worst thing happening for the LGBT community. So if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna go back to using gay as an adjective every now and then. And if y'all have a problem with it, do something. What are you gonna do? Beat me up? I'm gay. I'll sue you. See you tomorrow. Peace.